Welcome to the Tone Jerks Podcast. I'm your host, Brian Gower, and with me today, we Kyle got... Kyle McIntyre. Yep. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I like it that you're trying... Did I go too early? Oh, you're... Hey, now. <laughs> it's never too early, you know? Okay, right on time. <laughs> Christ. <laughs> you had to take it back from me now. Uh, <laughs> Anyways... Yeah. All right, uh, what's new, Kyle? Jesus, you had to ruin everything, Brian. You're fucking stomping on my bed. I came for the glory. You fucking stole it from me. <laughs> Stealing my valor again. <laughs> um, what's new with me? Yeah. What's oh, yeah. Me? Thanks for asking. Um, yeah, I said that already. I know. It's, I was just bringing it back. <laughs> Thanks for asking. Um, so I I built up a... Oh, I built it. So I, I'm working on a computer, yeah, computer right? Okay, but, computer saga. Yeah, but I'm now actually using it. I have a workstation set up. The graphics card that you like, yeah, Fuck, that came bitched in, about. Yeah, installed it. Did you give them five stars, even though they like shipped uh, it in a, in a good time? No, I haven't even rated it. You know, yeah. Of all, I'm, I'm sure like of all the things they sell, only like ten percent of people, probably less, actually rate it. Yeah, I only rate things really on Reverb because, because it asks I, you. A I want to get times. that. I want to get that notification gone. Yeah, it's like it's always orange. You're like, yeah, fuck, it well, won't go away. Well, yeah, because I, I'm like, I'm looking at it. I'm like, if I'm selling stuff too, I like yeah. get like I, I forget and psych myself. Oh, I got a notification. I saw something. Oh, it's just <laughs> asking for fucking. <sighs> it's all leave the shit them, I buy. Leave them feedback. Question mark. What? Yeah. How is it going? <laughs> I'm like five stars. Five stars. Get that fuck out of here. Yeah. I'm like, oh. if I'm buy, if especially if you buy something from a store, I'm like, yes. They ship me that, you know, uh, cable adapter. Turned out that, that <laughs> turned out great. Thing that Neutrik end. Yep. Um, <laughs> yeah. So I got the I got a TV on the wall. So it's like a so, fl- <laughs> like like I like, basically took your idea, which I didn't come up with. Well, but okay, yeah, it's a cool idea. Uh, I was jealous, so I just doubled everything. <laughs> mm-hmm. You have like what thirty? Is a twenty? No, like a thirty inch. I think it's it's thirty two. Okay. Mine's like give a, me that extra. Mine's two a forty-two, okay. right. ten inches over here, <laughs> and then a size queen over here. Um, I'm, I'm <laughs> I don't even I don't even own a, like a monitor that's gonna work with this computer yet. I have one, but it to, to show off the graphics. Uh huh. So I'm borrowing one from a friend who's not using. It's like a thirty-seven inch. It's okay. really wide. It's like almost the same size as the TV. Yeah. So it's like a gaming monitor. So, so what's, I don't really know the difference. Like, well, okay, well, like what It's just makes the refresh good, rate. It's just like the. What does that mean? It's how often. <laughs> I don't really know. It's how often the screen. Because we're looking at, uh, well, at Pro Tools here. There's, is there a lot of graphics going on there? Yeah, it's really good. No, it's, it's basic, it's, it's right? It's pretty basic. Okay. Yeah, but. but it looks good. Though. When, when you're watching a movie or when you're watching like, um. Or playing a game or something, you need to. You don't really need it, I guess. But usually, your eye only sees about sixty frames a second. So mm-hmm. anything lower than that, you see it gets a little choppy. And anything over than that, you see it's a lot smoother. But you don't. You, it's it's like is it, it? It's like when it's cold, you don't really care. Like anything over like or under like thirty yeah. degrees is gonna be feel really cold. <laughs> yeah, it's all. It's kind of like that where it's like. Like the level of good, it can yeah. only be. But you can get really, really, really good. But, but it's like how it's, it's just how you see it. So what is that? Is like the um rate of return or what is that? Uh, there's a never mind. I'm just I'm I, sure. I, uh, uh, something that people are like uh, gonna blurt out at their cars. Like this, you fucking idiot. <laughs> yeah, it's like so... like. You, like how much money you spend of it's like how much more of that are you gonna get? Like oh, if, you're, you, if you're if you're ROI, like your, your rate of invest or your return, return on, on investment. Something like that. But I'm like, okay, you can only get like so good with a monitor that you're gonna notice. But like yeah. people and I'm sure you're still like well, we still gotta learning, we gotta reach yeah. for it and get better. But yeah. are you noticing any uh, of the monitor that you're borrowing and your T V that you set yeah. up? Look, looking good? Yeah. With your graphics. When card I look and, at the T V I can see that there's like the actual pixel. Like, yeah, I can look get close I can see the pixel but on the screen I don't see any pixel so the screen is better than the TV yeah because okay. the TV is like 10 years old it's like it was the first gen of the Samsung um, smart TVs gotcha so it's like it's pretty old yeah. I had it at my 
the condo we had back in back think, in the day. So I think I got it. Actually, I think I got it in 2012. Okay, so it's not quite 10 years old, but, but it's, it's, it's getting it's, it's old. Yeah. yeah. Um. So I have the monitor on like a pivoting mount. I have yeah. the or sorry, the TV on a pivoting mount. The monitors on like an adjustable height one. Yeah, it's very cool. And then I got my computer on the desk. I went all out and I went to IKEA and yeah. got. <laughs> I I basically you know built my own table. I just got like a tabletop with legs. I didn't I didn't like any of the desk options they had, so I kind of no drawers, one. none of that. No, no, yeah, nothing crazy. Um, I started oh because I stole your desk last like yeah, a year or so that's ago. That's right. I mean it, and that's a nice desk, but it's real. It's on an IKEA frame. It's yeah. on like they still sell those. <laughs> yeah, so it's like it's a, a it's a steel case. Yeah, top, top which is like from looks the like '90s. A, looks like a school desk. Is yeah, it. it's like it's old, right? So it was, yeah, from the jerk lounge, I took it, and then you got you ended up getting a new IKEA desk. Yeah, all all interesting stuff. <laughs> super <laughs> super interesting. podcast already. I uh, I downloaded uh, Reason. Okay, so, so I did you... like a. I'm on a free trial right now, so it's like it's cool. It's like 30 days, so mm-hmm. um, I've already just put some song ideas in, and it's cool. It's uh, so your 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 computer is pretty much. Done. Yeah. So it's all just the little other shit. Yeah, it's I, I like I want a new keyboard and mouse and. Oh really? I'm borrowing those right now. Too. Oh okay. He's so, not using any of it. So. But do you dislike because it's it's one of the mechanical keyboards? Yeah. No, I'll probably get it. What's what's the one I have? Is that a digital thing? Um, I don't know. You have a piece of shit. No, it's it's mechanical, but it's not like the. The. Well. I don't just know. A, I don't know what the switches are, but it doesn't do like I the keep, nice crunchy clunk. Okay, yeah. When you push down on it, it's a very simple <laughs> little. Yeah, <laughs> you can hear that. Yeah. yeah, that'll probably all noise gate out. <laughs> um, so I don't. I don't have a cool keyboard, but you you got a good. I'm using a really cool, good one. Do it's, you like the chunky mechanical? Yeah, is, that's it, a that's a good it, one. It right? works for gaming because it's like you can use more pressure. So when you, yeah, you, you know, you're really mean in fucking business. Yeah. When I'm owning. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I'm on a free trial of that and I have my mini log. Your plugged, Korg. Yeah. Yeah. I have it plugged into the computer and it's cool. It's like plug it in. It's like it recognized it immediately, downloaded the drivers immediately. Oh, and very it, cool. And it, and it plays into reason. And cause yeah, you, you texted and I'm like, you don't have an interface or anything. Mm-hmm. I'm like, how are you? Yeah. Recording. So it's, well before I was just doing the on, I was just doing like the on bo- like the digital keyboard that was on the yeah, and using my keyboard and, and oh, okay this is cool and then I was noticing there's like a little bit of lag in between the keyboard and the Yeah, I didn't camera. I didn't know the mini log had USB out. Yeah. That's very cool. It has a lot of things on it. It's got yeah, I'm not going to get into it, but yeah. But that's no, that's a that's a cool buy. That's yeah. a gift that just keeps on giving. <laughs> Um, but you mentioned interface and I, I actually did buy one. Yes. We were talking, um, interfaces, uh, even we were in a group text with, uh, our drummer, Brian. So we were kind of like thinking like, okay, yeah, uh, we kind of got him involved and he, you were talking about reason. He, you had mentioned Fruity Loops and he says, don't, don't do it. Cause <laughs> I think they have a lot of proprietary, not proprietary or yeah, I guess that's how you would say Yeah, it. he was, he was advising the plugins against, you- against that and he was, he uses, I think, three or four different recording yeah. programs. And he has Fruity Loops and he doesn't like how it, like, oh, you want this? Upgrade with... And, and even, yeah. And then, oh, $100 for one instrument instead of like a whole pack of and, yeah, new even plugins. For his work, he uses it and he's forced to use certain programs. So he's like, he had he yeah. kind of was a better ad- advice for yeah. a DAW than I was. Yeah. I was... Definitely. Just like, I know Pro Tools, that's all I know how to do. I made my bed, bitch. <laughs> I kind of don't like it. Yeah. <laughs> I spent a lot of money. <laughs> um, but yeah, most of our friends, or like when we recorded the band and our friends all use Pro Tools, so it's just a little easier and that's kind of just all I know. So when I, it's cool because I can ask for advice. Um, Brian, uh, Sean, uh, Jeff Forrest, and Sean, yeah, like like I, I've, I've asked all of them, like Sean Tolley, I'm like, so what are you doing? <laughs> and he's like, and everybody's cool about giving us advice. Anyways, that's why I like Pro Tools. But I eventually, like I mentioned before, I'm not a, like 100% happy with it. Eventually, maybe I'll I'll go to a different one. But that's yeah. cool. So you're liking Reason. And yeah, it's a and cool trial. And Interface was something that we had talked about. And you kind of chose what you yeah, wanted Yeah, I got to get. A, the Scarlet, the 2i2, is it? 
the the third gen. Yeah, I got the newest one. Yeah. So I just need, I it's a two only... input interface. Mm-hmm. So two what USB or sorry, it's a USB and then two. It's an XLR like dual. Mm-hmm. So kind of like I have on my Claret's where you can put like quarter inch in and you can put XLR. Yeah, and it's got monitor outs on them too. Yeah, it's got two monitor out. It's pretty. It's yeah, it's pretty basic. It's your, get the job done. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm not going to be doing anything more than recording one person at a time. Yeah, and we and might if, use it for podcast. We'll see. Yeah, well, or we might try it, so. that or try the Zoom, whatever. Yeah, but no, that's cool. That's going to work out. But you had mentioned you you had uh, texted me. It's like oh, once you decided like okay, this is what I'm going to get. Yeah, uh, you had mentioned. Uh, I'm, I'm calling I, my sales. <laughs> I'm, rep. I'm hitting up. I'm hitting up my uh, my Sweetwater rep. Sweetwater rep. And you thought it was funny. I thought it was like, oh, that's a funny joke. I have never, <laughs> but I, ever <laughs> called, or even really, I've never gone out of my way to talk to a Sweetwater rep. Yeah. <laughs> was he stoked as fuck? Yeah. That I, you, you contacted yeah, him. Yeah. I'd say, hey, dude, um, <laughs> is the Scarlet the two uh, the two i two three gen available? And he's like, yeah, here's a link. <laughs> he sent me a- so I actually text him. Like, I have his I have his number and he has mine. And uh, when I bought the Dookie drive, okay. he was in contact with me. Oh, like, okay. Because he was, you know, he, oh, hey, this isn't available yet. Because they had just heard from Dunlop, like, oh, it's not going to be available. This is like, let's see, March, I think. Hey, it's not going to be available until July. Yeah. <laughs> do you still want it? I'm like, yeah, I'm a patient dude. I'll do it. Yeah. And then you hit me up. Hey, it's ready. I need your PayPal info again. All right, cool. And then, huh. It's, it's funny because I text them. And that's weird. My iPhone's never done this before. Text, like it's, it. iPhone usually between iPhone and iPhone, it's, it's blue, right? Yeah, yeah. This is the green, like just between like a regular phone. Yeah. But it, re, it just sat with like a wheel of death and it sat, I'm like, okay, it's a computer probably. Oh, that, that you're texting? Mm-hmm. Because it, it's weird. Like it. And then I would say something, and it would it wouldn't say I sent it. Huh. But then when he re- he would respond, it wouldn't refresh in the window. I'm like, I'm pretty sure it's not a robot. Yeah, I, I know the the guy's real. I haven't talked mm-hmm. to him, but it was kind of strange. But oh, because they always do the thing. I only really buy things like I'll, I'll just log into my sweet order account and yeah. buy something and then they call you like hey man we're gonna get that out for you you know and they do you know they get it out like yeah. within like minutes. 30 minutes of <laughs> yeah. buying something which is cool but also kind of like you better make sure you want to buy that <laughs> uh whatever you put in your cart like i've bought strings and then i think i bought that uh captor two notes and he's like and i'm kind of buying it you know and, and i'm like he calls me. I'm like, I'm not in a position right now where I can just pick up the phone. So I just kind of leave it to voicemail. And sometimes I'll pick it up where I was like, I bought it on my day off and then call him. I'm like, well, I know why he's calling just to say, hey, thanks for the sale. Uh, it's getting it out to you. And I'm like, yeah. oh, I'll talk to him. It's like, and so he said, hey, man, thanks for the sale. We're going to get that out to you. I'm like, cool. Need anything else? I'm like, no. Yeah. I'll, uh, I'll let you know if I do. Yeah. So, and I've never like, let him know if I did need something. I always say that if I do talk to him, which I don't know my rep, maybe it makes me an asshole because I never talked to him. I mean, Dust and I are pretty close, so. Fuck. They don't even know my dude's name. <laughs> I need to buy something so I can just talk to him. Yeah, and I was like, hey, Dustin, is this, is this product available? <laughs> Hell yeah, I do. He didn't, he didn't say that. I need to call him up and tell him about the cast. Yeah, right. yeah and actually when I, when I finished checking out, I put like, Check Tone it. jerks. Check out, check out the cast, man. It's hot. <laughs> yeah, that didn't. We'll mention you. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> yeah. So it was like funny because I'm like, I've never actually done this. So I wonder if like people who buy from Sweetwater, I like Sweetwater a lot and feel like, you know, they always the joke that they just like call on like, hey, 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 hey thank you so much for the, which is cool because yeah. they have great customer service. And which I have, just shows it's a um, human behind, yeah. you know. Um, Adam, the guitarist for Just In Case, he was like really on the fence about what guitar he wanted to buy. And he kind of knew he wanted to buy a Strat, mm-hmm. but he didn't want to buy, like, he didn't know which one. So like, should I get a Mexican? Should I get this new one? Well, how it's the difference of, you know, uh, you know, like certain ones. I'm like, um, and I'm like, I like the idea of buying American, but I'm like, what's your budget? And I'm like, he's like, I don't know. And so we were talking back and forth. I'm like, well, at least get something with a humbucker in the bridge. Yeah. And the rest you'll figure Who out. Who gives a shit? <laughs> 
Um, You're not going to use it. Because with like fenders, you could always just like get their aftermarket tuners and whatever and change that. But I'm like the humbucker, just get that. So at least it's routed for it. So if you decide to change whatever, because I'm like for punk, because I know he's playing other stuff too. Yeah. He's doing like uh, some reggae stuff and he's doing other stuff for a cover band. So he's like, Strat is pretty much, I I think would be a real good go-to. So I'm like, but for just in case, you got to have a a humbucker in the bridge. (laughs) Yeah, and everything else, I'm like humbucker in the neck and middle single coil and just combination of all of them, whatever. Maybe just humbucker, humbucker, whatever it's going to be. Just like that humbucker has to be in the bridge, just for punk. And then I told yeah. that's all I told him, and he's like, oh, "Okay, cool." Well, and then he called and he was was talking with his Sweetwater rep, and they ended up picking up um, the American performer. So it's not like the um top america it's kind of like the low it's like yeah, the yeah. highway one or whatever the whatever they change the name to yeah whatever they keep changing the name to it's like it's like kind of like the step above them mexican but mm-hmm. it's made in america so it's like not the best parts but it's still pretty good and you can always change those the small yeah. the not good parts are pretty easy to change um like with most fenders they're kind of just like screw bolt on whatever anyway so it's like i thought that was like most people talk to their Sweetwater people. Yeah. <laughs> so you got the... Oh, we're tight. The, we're the, tight the, the Scarlet coming in. That's that, that's cool. But I thought that was an interesting story. I'm like, I'm going to call him. And you did. Yeah. You thought <laughs> well, I was I guess, joking. Yeah, I, was not, I thought that was a funny bit. I was like, oh, because oh, oh, they're going to call you as soon as you like, you know, give them, you know, $10 for strings. They're like, hey, bro, we got those strings on the way. <laughs> <laughs> well, they did ship it really quickly. Which I'm like, can you not send me a catalog? Can you cut me off from the catalog? I should have bought some NYXLs. Yeah, those those are good. Damn it! NYXL bass strings. I can. I know Sweetwater has. They're hard to find everywhere else. Yeah, why don't? Sorry, everywhere else they're hard to find. Uh, it's the the red pack of NYXL bass ones. Uh-huh. I think it's like one ten. Well, let me to hit fifty five. Let me hit, hit him up right now. I think he's in Indiana. What yeah. time is it? <laughs> like, uh, anyway, yeah. No, that, that, that's cool. Got that coming in. Um. Yeah. So uh, what's new? What's new with you, dude? Well, I guess it's kind of new with both of us, but I'm giving them a try first. So wrist grips hit us up, hmm. and they sent us a pair of wrist grips. Mm-hmm. Um, they're like kind of designed to like help with like uh, strain on your wrists when either playing drums or playing guitar, or you know, just like uh, kind of I don't know reduce like fatigue and sometimes like you ever play and you have pain in your wrist and maybe you what or like um what i'm finding out to use them for is sometimes when i'm at work on the computer i <laughs> um have just a really shitty desk at my work and it's like a standing desk it's not like one of the like cool like, adjustable adjustable ones when i'm i'm standing i'm not on sitting down i don't want office ass <laughs> not that kind of one. It's like it's built into like, you know, speed shelving. Silent killer's not going to get me. <laughs> yeah, it's it's built into speed shelving in a stock room where in a warehouse. And it's just kind of tucked in the corner. That's my workspace. Because like I don't like sitting down. I don't like the idea of sitting down for hours on it, on end, which yeah. I'm glad I don't. So, but the way the angle is, because I'm like, I'm caring more about like um, shelf for product and just like kind of tucked away out of, out of the way. But I like, I still need a computer to do, you know, uh, inventory, whatever. Comings and going, shipping, receiving. Uh, but it's like just not the greatest angle and just like ergonomic design. <laughs> and so sometimes I'm like, I feel like a bitch. I'm like, just like on computer, like just number pad, all, yeah. you know, all day. I'm like, sometimes like, yeah, my wrist turns. <laughs> so I might try wearing these to for that, which I don't think they're designed for, but I'm going to give them a shot. Yeah, you're going like, to um, fuck up your end. <laughs> who knows? <laughs> I do sometimes get wrist pain for that. Like crippled. <laughs> who knows? Or, uh, um, but I do like the idea that they, I've, I've worn them uh, a couple times and they're cool. They're, I mean, they're cool, easy design. They're actually made really well. I yeah, think that's they're out of uh, well. Oregon, I believe. I don't remember what city. I want to say Portland, but I'm probably wrong. Uh, they're out of Oregon. They're made in the U.S. They're cool. They're a simple design, but they actually looks. It actually seems to work really well. I've tried them uh, playing at home, but I want to try them at band practice um, because the guitar that I have at the studio is not the most comfortable guitar, but it's one of my favorites that I love playing. It is my uh, you know Squire Strat. Um, sounds really good, and I like the way it, it plays and looks. I guess the playing is the one thing I actually don't like because the neck. It's very, very thin. Mm-hmm. It's one of those like 
I bought it. Necks. Yes, exactly. I bought it when I was a kid because I didn't know the specs of necks when I ordered it from Warmoth. What? Say specs on necks. Um, and it, I just picked whatever the first like click box was. And it was the super shredder type thin, thin neck. <laughs> I want to be a shredder. Yeah, Hell like, yeah. Oh, he's, he's my a favorite sick character. He's my favorite character, man. <laughs> he's always turtle soup. <laughs> uh, so I, it's, it's cool. I've been playing it for years, but I'm like, it's not the most comfortable guitar. And especially because I like to play my guitars pretty low. I've raised them, which I think I'm like, oh, I kind of have them pretty high up. But the people who play them, it's still pretty low. It's like kind of at my belt or a little bit lower. Yeah. And like sometimes on my, not my strumming hand, but my fretting hand, I kind of notice some wrist pain. So I'm excited to give these wrist grips a go. Uh, so far, uh, just at home playing, like standing up and just like kind of just jamming out on my guitars that I have here, they don't, they don't have the super shredder neck that caused me pain, but so far they're, they don't get in the way. They, um, kind of look, you know, they don't, uh, look too cumbersome. Like, uh, do they make you look tough? Yes. Yeah, it's like, um, do you remember? Yeah. It's, it's like a headfield. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> uh, they don't like look super like out of place. It's yeah. like, um, back, you know, think of like, Hey, go way back machine, way back machine. Think of like, uh, you know, baggy dicky shorts. Think of like, you know, the Pumas. Think of like, you know, the Hurley t shirts. Think yeah. of like the wristbands, you know, of yeah, the pop the, punk the era. Basketball. Yeah. Wrist, basketball wrist band. r- sweatbands, wristbands. I'm <laughs> yeah. like, that, it kind of fits that aesthetic. I'm like, dude, yeah. I'm, I, you know, I'm putting a wallet chain back on my wallet, dude. I'm bringing that shit back. I still have my studded belt. I busted that out. I'm like, dude, I, I think I'm ready to wear these wrist grips. And I'm like, dude, I'm bringing the sweatbands back. But I'm actually, you know, <laughs> utilizing that look and making it a, you know, helping my wrist out. So maybe not, um, I may not need them on both hands, but yeah. I might use it for just the one. I think it's cool. I uh, want to give it to Brian, our drummer, and see what he thinks um, after I sweat in them. <laughs> I didn't Gross. think about that, but yeah, give it, have him, you know, give his two cents. But if you guys, uh, you know, want to check them out, I think they're a pretty cool product. They are wrist grips, so check them out uh, at wrist grips. Does it on Instagram strengthen your grip? Well, you know, when you use your wrist. Oh that's man, all I want to know. I don't, I don't want it too strong, you know. I like yeah, to, that shit to slip away. Just wondering, and like, I just grab it again. You know what I'm saying? Are these <laughs> are these rated for other activities? I know, kind of find out. Got a lot of movies, and a lot of like good sites to check out. Besides, well, just keep wrist, these out of the the jerk lounge. Wrist dash grips dot com, and I'll be using those when I'm checking out those other sites. If you want links, hit me up, and I'll send you all the good stuff. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> woo, woo. Okay. <laughs> But you head over to wrist dash grips dot com, um, and you can use the code. The Tone Jerks Dash 15 to get 15% off your pair of wrist grips for all your, you know, extracurricular activities outside of playing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, man. So, so far, so good with those. I will uh, get those, uh, uh, you know, getting some work in the field with those. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, 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 we'll Whatever some, field you're in, I yeah, guess. Uh, <laughs> testing those out when we play a gig. Which we actually have a gig coming up. So this one's kind of cool. I guess it's worth mentioning on the podcast because we were playing with our buddy, Co Schneider, his first gig. Yeah. Uh, locally, San Diego. So if anybody is in you know Southern California or San Diego area wants to come check us out, uh, we are playing Himmelbergs on Saturday, August 31st. It's a free show, all ages show. So that's cool. His band, Sun Cub. Yeah. Having their first gig. So, you know, go out there, heckle him, just boo and hiss at them and- <laughs> <laughs> throw the carrots and rotten tomatoes at them. Uh, yeah, I no. don't know if you can get those past security, but try. Yeah, let me know. I'll bring. I'll give you some of mine that I'm bringing. <laughs> no, I'm excited. Uh, it's like something uh, with Co. Our buddy Co. It's like he's been talking about a band. I'm like, just fucking let's book a show and get him out. So he's opening. We're playing next uh, right after him. So it'd be a fun night. We're playing with Infinite Signal and I think another band from uh, Orange County. Nice. So it'll be a fun night. Check that out. Uh, we'll probably mention a couple times. But uh, anyways. That's kind of the what's new. Um, besides, that's that's the interesting what's new. I got some boring stuff. Yeah, great. <laughs> so I, I know, I know. Boring. That was the interesting stuff. Yeah, boring. Hey, hey. Whoa, whoa. Hey, Shots hey. fired. Easy, Sorry. Easy, easy buddy. I'm, give me those wrist grips. I'm gonna give you a grip here. <laughs> slap, <laughs> slap me with it, like the metal, like, like a duel. <laughs> I challenge you to a duel. Um, I, I just I, I just been organizing. Still in the mode of organizing. So uh bought a couple. You got to do it. Bo- you know, boring things. I bought uh 
headphone hangers that I can hang uh, my headphones off uh, my <laughs> desk. So my uh, studio headphones. All right. Um, my studio monitor headphones. Uh, and then I bought one for a microphone stand. So I can hang the headphones off there when we're recording and just like, you know, because I'm like, I guess you easily could just set them on a chair or something, but I'm like, the professional studio, yeah. bedroom studio. We're like, we've recorded records in a very, very unprofessional manner. I'm just trying Many to like- times. <laughs> <laughs> trying to step it up a little yeah, bit. Come on. And so those are kind of boring buys. You're but a I, big I, like, podcast star I'm, now. You know, you I'm big in up. like the, the, we talked about cable management in the last episode. And this one, headphone management. I like yeah. it. Just hanging it. So you always have it at, you know, you know, close to you. I'm like, oh, set the headphones down. Oh, I got them on my headphone hanger. Okay. It's not a big, not a big, you know, buy, but I'm excited. Still in the selling mood. Got some more things on the chopping block. When I was cleaning out a uh, closet in the studio, I just, found things I'm not using. So I'm like, you know, texted uh, Brian and a couple friends. I'm like, do you want any of these things? Was going to give them a deal or give them, to, you know, for free. Didn't want any of them. So um, selling off a kick drum pedal, which is something I'm like, okay, that could be like at least 120 bucks, 100 bucks. Mm-hmm. Uh, DW5000 kick pedal, which I'm like, I enjoy it, but I'm like, giving up the dream <laughs> that I'm not really a drummer. <laughs> and... Any drummer that's going to play with us, I've been like thinking about like, well, I have like a cheapo kind of drum set. That sounds pretty good that we keep it at our studio just so any drummer can play it and, you know, bring their snare and cymbals and stuff like that um, and their, you know, kick pedal. So think of anything that's going to break, whatever, bring those mm-hmm. to our studio. So we treat it like it's either like a stage back line or like a rental space. And then uh, I was just like, I have this really nice kick pedal. I had, you know, like I sold my snare because it was completely worthless for me to have a nice snare. And then I'm like, <laughs> I have a really nice kick pedal. Why? That's like, I'm looking at it. I'm like, that's like, it's been out of our studio for like a year. We've never used it. One time, I think, I want to say Brian, maybe it was a different drummer who had like showed up and he's like, oh, I didn't have time to grab my kick pedal. Can I just use yours? Cool. One time in <laughs> like three years and I've yeah. never used it. So I'm like, okay, this is going. So it's kind of like that. Last bit of things that I'm giving away of my dreams of becoming a drummer. <laughs> yeah. Selling that and getting rid of that. And then I have like these DW Tom clamps because I'm like, I have two Toms. They're already on stands. Why do I need more of these things? So those are going. And I have this Audix cab grabber that I'm like, I bought this because I'm like, I'll bring my own mic stand. I'll have this for recording. But I'm not recording using cabs anymore. Yeah. So I'm like, these things like the Tom stand or Tom clamps and this... um uh, uh, cab grabber. I'm like, okay, they might not bring in a lot of money, but I'm just like thinking of like, it could be like 30, 40 bucks here, you know, 100 bucks here. Da, da, da. I'm just all about just like spring cleaning, getting it out of here, getting yeah. it gone. You don't need it. Yep. I got you. And one of the big things, not big things, this is actually a lot of little things. I just started going through like CDs. I had a, a ton of like old burnt CDs. I had demos from shitty bands <laughs> that would give them to us i'm like i'm sorry it was like, but not just... like your not your ones you bought like no not really okay. no and then like i had like samplers and like oh, there's maybe like compilation a, yeah Rick. compilation like that i like a song so i'm like i uploaded that one song to my itunes and then i'm like i don't need this cd with the rest of this crappy music that i don't like and like yeah. and then cd cases i had a ton i'm like why am i keeping all these so i just like really did a big like hall of just like getting all this CDs just in the fucking yeah. <sighs> Have you thought about all the money that you sh- used to spend on CDs? Ah, uh, yeah, exa- exa- some of the stuff is like I was holding on to it, but I, I I did a big purge of all the stuff that I was like burnt CDs. And you know, people say like, oh yeah, back in the day, it was like, oh you know, always print out CDs because people want to hold on to it and they think it, you know they value it a little bit more. I'm like, even like, uh, local some. I don't know, smaller local band printed CDs. I'm like, this fucking sucks. <laughs> Throw that away. <laughs> it wasn't, <laughs> it like it an wasn't enough. I mean, to... I wonder there's a, probably a ton of playing without a pilot CDs yeah. that are uh, in sitting in my closet that aren't sold. <laughs> 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 and maybe in the landfill. Um, but I'm like, <sighs> so it was just like a big purge. I'm like, man, I'm getting space. And I was like thinking of like, I have, I had empty DVD cases. I'm like, what the fuck? Where'd that thing go? Oh, well, like, why am I holding on to the case? Throw yeah. that away. And it just might be just like a really uninteresting DVD case. I'm like, why am I holding on to this? There's no, nothing here. And I was going through and just like throwing away, like, uh, I had 
you don't remember when you would buy software? I don't know if you did that a lot. Maybe like think of like computer games, I guess. Mm-hmm. It would come in huge fucking boxes. Oh, yeah. All you really they need huge. is the disc. Yeah. So I had uh, some plugins that I had. Um, How old were they? Ampeg, the oh, Amplitube or whatever. You actually bought. Uh, when I bought it and <laughs> it came Jesus. in a giant box and I kept the box and I'm like, all I really need is that CD. Even though I have the plugins already on my computer and they're saved to my iLock and I could just download them again, I'll just keep the CD and like the registration like the code, the code in case I need it. And so I was like, I have this like big folder, you know, of mm-hmm. like 150 CDs or whatever. I'm like, well, I can just put them in there in case I ever need to reference that again. Say, like I did you, buy this fucking Like thing. you're a DJ. You have like yeah. shit low. You're just like, <laughs> make a request. Well, I, I, I figure <laughs> at least a CD folder is better than CD cases and just giant yeah. software boxes. I had the uh, old um, Melodyne. I had, uh, I think, Easy Drummer, and I had uh, uh, Digi Design 11. Yeah. Like these like different like plugins and stuff like that and software. I'm like, why am I holding on to these giant fucking boxes when all I need is a CD? So I threw away tons of shit. I'm like, well, I'm glad that I can still see my uh, Samurai Jack there. You didn't toss those. Yeah, I borrowed those from you and I will so, like, watch those. That's on my list. Like two years ago or yeah, more. Yeah, I think I watched like some of season one and then I just, um, dude, this, I, I, I borrowed your, your super drive or I, you know, yeah. like a, so I can, on my <laughs> I, MacBook Pro, I, I actually, borrowed it back. Yeah. And now it's back here. Yes, I need that again. <laughs> I was going through, I borrowed a friend's, um, the Miyazaki, he's a big anime movie guy. I'll take your word for it. Yeah, I'm, I've never watched any of his movies. A friend was like telling me, like, oh yeah, these are masterpieces. Why? They're terrible. She listens to the show. <laughs> she does not sound like that at all. <laughs> I'm sorry, You're Jen. You're a dick. A friend, Jen. Uh, she let me borrow this movie two years ago. She's like, oh, you need to watch it. You know, Miyazaki, da, da, da. if you've never watched it, for somebody who likes anime, you should watch his movies. So I had this movie of hers for like two, three, four years, and I finally watched it, and I texted her back. I'm like, I need to give this back to you. <laughs> Do you still have my Akira? Yeah. That one's uh See, I own anime. Mm-hmm. You have That was I was telling myself. I have uh, anime. <laughs> anyway, so I'm just I going am, through uh, these and now I'm like I'm trying to like watch these movies that I borrowed and just give them back to people so I'm like it's now your burden. I've already watched it and and, <laughs> and uh, received the media and now you can have it. Nice. And so anyways, I just that I don't know, big cleanup CDs. You had mentioned it, I think, on maybe even Patreon, or maybe you didn't even talk about it. It's like your own, like, a big, like, just you have CDs, DVDs, and stuff like that. Your wife's throwing away. Yeah, she's, she's trying to throw away. She's I'm very, like, like oh. vigilant of just, like, I don't why, know. This why is do fucking we have perfect. two copies of this? <laughs> I don't know. For backup, baby. <laughs> yeah, what if one scratched? <laughs> oh, jeez. Anyway, so, like, big, uh, big clean. I'm, like, kind of coming to the end of, like, of, like the summer cleaning or whatever. I'm like, ah, I'm done. Hey, you season late. Season late, but it's all right. Uh, I'm like, the throwing away the CDs, I was like, I had a lot of trash. Yeah. <laughs> Why am I keeping this crap? Yeah, I need to do that too. I just like, Take that's a big thing, folks. I years. don't know. Yeah. <laughs> there, I don't know. People are like, I don't know. I, it's kind of, it kind of feels good to get rid of stuff and like selling stuff that you're not using especially is nice because you get rid of it, you get the space and somebody else can hopefully use it and you get money. Yeah. I like that a lot. I, I prefer that than throwing things away because mm-hmm. people are like, you're throwing away CDs to be used to giving to the give, children. Give, give them to kids. <laughs> <laughs> Don't run them over. <laughs> oh, hot takes. Hot takes. Jesus. Oh, man. Oh, I had one oh, more. Jesus. I had one more new thing I didn't mention. <laughs> I got new shoes. <laughs> so I'm bringing it back. Hey, oh, there you go. Oh. Uh, We're getting too rowdy. Herman, he's like, I don't like that joke. You guys are assholes. Um, give the CDs to kids. I got hiking boots. So I got some Merrells. Oh, those are the legit ones. Yeah, these are the ones I've wanted for a while. So I bought them on Amazon for mm-hmm. your price. Were they? Uh, I mean, you know, were they hell expensive or what? No, I mean they were hundred and hundred bucks, okay. thir- hundred and twenty. Okay. Um. Yeah. Are they comfy? Oh yeah. Like putting them on instantly, I'm like, Ooh, oh yeah, better the, than these your... are the ones. Oh, the yeah. last ones were the five elevens. Yeah, and they were those were just those were okay, but they were like flat. It's like they were flat footed. Yeah, these actually have support. Um, and then I bought some monochrome Converse. So you got some low, shoes, low you got, top. Yeah. 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 So you had your hiking boots, and now you're. I think you. We got to go on a hike. 
Yeah, got to get back into it now that it's like really hot. Yeah. <laughs> That's the best time to go. Yeah. That's what my sister was saying. This is the best time to go when it's hot. I'm like, where? Who? Who, are, who says that? Are you? <laughs> Why would fucking? You? Yeah. <laughs> okay. What yeah. is your you, problem? You do that. <laughs> yeah. It's good for you though. Yeah. <laughs> Get a bowl of soup with that hike. Anyway, so I just remembered. Yeah. So that's yeah. cool. A lot of what's news. A lot of a lot of joking around. A lot of a lot of kidding. I'm kidding around. A lot of. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's so stupid. <laughs> All right, so let's uh, jump into the topics. We got a couple of them. So this was one that I th- thought of, and I posted it in the group. Uh, it was just uh, stupid songs <laughs> that you... I mean, you know they're fucking dumb. I think we did the dumb movies thing that you really do enjoy. Uh, same thing for songs. Yeah. Like, you know they're fucking shitty. So these are like guilty pleasure kind of songs guilty, guilty or pleasure bands songs or... that you I mean it doesn't matter. You fucking like them and they like get stuck in your head and you're just jamming it. So uh it's kind of go go off of these. So get the guilty pleasure songs, guilty pleasure, you know, or like songs that you just you you know deep down in your heart they're fucking dumb. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so uh I'll like the one that I'll start off with the one that I posted. Stuck in my head for the longest time. I just like it's a wild, wild west. <laughs> I, <laughs> Will Smith, Big Willie style. Wow, wow, West. <laughs> wiki, wiki, wow, wow, West. Uh, wow, I'd wow, also West. throw in there Jim uh, West, Desperado. <laughs> no, you don't want nada. No, none of this. <laughs> Six gun in this. <laughs> Buffalo Soldier. It's like I told you. <laughs> Just ending that rhyme. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> throw it all over. Um, A damsel that's in de stress. Be out of too. that dress. <laughs> it's so fucking dumb. And he just like everything he does is so catchy though. It just oh, like everything. Yeah, it's just like he like uh, it just tells you the plot. I think it was <laughs> yeah. like uh, Andrew Walsh in the group. He's like, that's just that's, that's Big Willie style. He tells you what's going on. <laughs> this is the plot of Wild Wild West. Yeah. Well, you got a big spider, and he's like, oh, you're up to no good, <laughs> but blood bad. <laughs> Started making trouble in the neighborhood, dude. And then, yeah. That's and then he's like, one. talks about Fresh Prince. I'm going to tell you, like, what's happening here? Uncle Phil. Yeah. And Carlton and bullshit. Is it Men in Black also? It's yeah. like the, the same thing. Oh, man. Yeah. You think Those are all jams. <laughs> That's a good one, too. Fuck. Um, <laughs> yeah. So Will Smith, Wild Wild West, was stuck in my head. And I'm not going to lie to you. Thanks to Spotify. I was on repeat jamming that song. <laughs> Probably You're like moonwalking across your oh, at the store. Oh. You're just like <laughs> <laughs> No, you don't want not to know none of this. <laughs> I'm um, just like at work. I'm like, what a fucking dipshit. <laughs> if people knew what I was listening in my headphones, they'd be like, What? I have even <laughs> Lost, less less yeah. respect for that fucking asshole. Of the little I had. It's gone. And I'm like, oh, I was like probably like at least like ten times. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Anyways, that's I, the... I got one. Um, so besides Willie, <laughs> yeah, All Star from Smash Mouth. <laughs> okay, so I it's become a meme, but it's actually <laughs> I know. a catchy it's, song. It is. <laughs> and people, are, oh, it's shitty because you know, but it, it's it, a, it encompassed the times. The Shrek. Man. That was the song we needed. You know. God damn it, Shrek! I'm trying to be the next Beatles. <laughs> it, it was before Shrek, though. It came out way before Shrek, dude. Dude, it came dude. out. It was actually the, like uh, mystery Man. mystery men. Yeah, it was like a release for that. They had like the music video. I was, never saw that movie, but you it said was good. it was. It was yeah, a good, like, good it's movie. like it's like good in like a really dumb way. But it's actually a. I like it. It's like it's kind of comic booky, but it's was it Kel was in that? Yes, and then Pee Wee, yeah, also in it. Ben Stiller, Ben Stiller, um, uh, Janine Garofalo. I right, I can't think of yeah. I, yes, she's in that. I the uh, he's like a big like actor, the guy from Fargo. Oh yeah, <laughs> uh, I can't remember his name either. I can't remember anyone's yeah. name. Uh, but yeah, it was like I I like I feel like I know everybody in the movie, and I'm like, I feel like I should watch this. Isn't it just like a bunch of like B rate heroes? Yeah, they're like really shitty superheroes. Gotcha, and they don't really have any like. On the surface, they they serve no purpose. Mm. But there's actually like a guy who is a superhero and who's like badged out like a motherfucker mm. with he's like sponsored and he's he looks like the real superhero. Yeah, but he's really a piece of shit. So it's like a really cool like you know 
He's okay. not worth, you know, anyway, I don't want to ruin it for you, but. <laughs> but yeah, I remember that song came out around yeah, that time. Yeah, the same time. It was really, it was like the theme. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that. Tom Waits is in that movie. Really? Of course, Tom Waits yeah. is in I that wonder movie. if that's got to be out somewhere on like Amazon or Hulu or something. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> They're probably like, yeah, licensing anyways. streaming rights for this. Uh, pff, 100 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> no one's watched this in years. Um, no, so the reason why I have that. Um, <laughs> I have it on my phone. It's like one of the only songs I have downloaded to my phone. <laughs> you have like what? Four songs and that's... <laughs> yeah. I I used to have a shitload of, of songs, like thousands of songs. Oh God, yeah. Back in the day, you, that's the only way you could get music. Yeah, through iTunes, right? And then now I, I wiped them all and then I went to like make a funny video or something in an iMovie and I wanted that song as the background and so I had to re-download it. I... I had originally bought it <laughs> a oh, long okay. time ago. Yeah, yeah. And I re-downloaded it and made a funny video with Johnny in it or something at Nam or whatever he was. was anyways, oh, and yeah. I posted it. He, he was like doing like bass tapping and stuff like that. And, and I sped, sped the sped it fuck up. up and I'm, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's funny. Somebody wants to me. <laughs> Sound like uh, chipmunk style. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I remember that. That was a good video. Damn. Yeah. Oh, totally worth it. Gold. That's gold right Comedy there. Comedy gold, baby. <laughs> anyway, so my phone, it's got it's one of the only songs on there. When I pair it, when I go pair it, when I when <laughs> <laughs> I had to say that. Okay. When I go start my truck in the morning, right, to go mm-hmm. to work and it links with my like Bluetooth, it'll yeah. play that song automatically. Yeah, and I I mean I have the opportunity there to like switch to something on Spotify or like a podcast or like, something and you're I'll, like <laughs> I'll listen to I'll be like most of the way through I'll be like the last like 10 seconds I'm like I just listened to the whole thing again like it's 7 30 it's, it's in the now, morning it's, now it's become a part of you you're part of your day you're <laughs> yeah. like I can't change this so I, I wake up how do you wake up you you drink coffee no I listen to all-star bitch some <laughs> somebody yeah I don't break know. the mold. it's dumb but that that's one <laughs> oh man uh, this is one that I should be ashamed of, but I'm not. <laughs> so I listen to like anime music and a lot of stuff that's like, it's I like, I'll be at work listening to this. And it's like, if people knew like yet again, what I was listening <laughs> to it, they'd be like, oh yeah, he's like tattoos. He's in a band. He plays guitar. He's probably listening to like some like, you know, like punk or something like that. Black rock music or something. And then they go, <laughs> like really high pitch and the harmonies and stuff like that and like synth driven dance like four on the floor type like you know pop music and stuff oh, like yeah. that that it's in Japanese and it's like these idols and stuff like that I'm like Jeez. I mean uh, Love Live the Muse and Aquas they're on Spotify now so you know Spotify is, jam. It's the goat <laughs> it's, the <goal. laughs> it's like these uh, um, Instagrams that I follow that like you know they make you know anime stickers and Stuff like that. They're like, oh my God, it's a huge fucking deal, everybody. <laughs> Muse and <laughs> Awkward is on. S- Sign of the Times. <laughs> on fucking Spotify, baby. <laughs> we're back, we're, baby. We're at the shop and there's like, you know, uh, do, they were like at like a auto shop is where these guys work and they're yeah. playing these like blasting through the speakers at a, like a, a repair shop of just like <laughs> <laughs> anime music. Jeez. Uh, it's, it's funny. I should be, I should be uh, embarrassed by that shit, but I'm like, I'm not. So I guess uh, one that I am, you know, I, I really dumb, but I I I know it's dumb. Papa Roach. I love, <laughs> I love those hits. I love Papa Roach. <laughs> oh my god! And like it's like earlier stuff, yeah, newer bullshit stuff. I like the hits. I go to the hits, and I'm Dang. like, man, it's like. Uh, you know, you think of like getting away with murder and like the you know, Blood Brothers, like think of like from Tony Hawk. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's like they're all good. I'm like, these fucking suck dick. But I'm like, nah, dude. It takes me back. Jacoby, he's a it takes sing- me he, all back. He's he's singing. <laughs> it really gets to me. <laughs> Jeez. Oh man. They had like a reverb sale of all their gear. Oh, dang. Totally overpriced. I'm like, nobody gives a fuck about Papa Roach. I guess I, some people still do. I do. Yeah. They sold it, right? <laughs> I think so. But it's like these base cabs they were selling for like Ampeg used uh, 810 cabs, like $2,000 plus like a couple hundred dollars for shipping. <sighs> Jesus. Are, are, are they Orange County guys or what? I think so. Jesus. But I'm like, Jesus Christ, why? <laughs> yeah. You go get one for like 
under five hundred dollars. Yeah, because people 400. people don't want like people like pull. The, they're like, I don't want to fuck. This. Yeah, I like slip a movie. disc. Yeah, you just get this out of here. <laughs> uh, anyway, I got um Lana Del Rey. Cola is the name of the song. The summertime. <laughs> Have you heard that? The new her, her sublime. Oh no! I think we. T- yeah, she does a I sublime it. cover. Probably Fucking does it better. Hot garbage. Oh, well, I'll check it out. But I'm pretty. Sh- nah, I don't know. I, 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 I'm not a huge fan of her, and I'm not very not a huge fan of Sublime. And to combine those, I'm like, <laughs> st- <laughs> well, it's like we, you know, like talked yeah. about how good your computer screen can get. Well, how bad can that get? And there's like, <laughs> well, once you're bad, it's like, who's bad? <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't explain anything. <laughs> no. <laughs> Um. Yeah, that song is. It's the production's really good. Yeah, Lana Del Rey. She's she's your gal. Yeah. She's, yeah. She's um. It's just the songs l- that you like. Songs that you're. It's not a song guilty, I can I can uh, shout out. I can sing to. Because some of the lyrics are. Oh, it's a little. Exp- I mean, I don't even want to say. A little, little, little <laughs> risky. I'll tell you. I'll tell you after the cat. I see. You can see a uh, Kyle's little bashful Ooh. over there. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> a little blush. If, if, you, if you guys want to know what I'm talking about. uh Go ahead and hit play on that song. It's like in the first yeah, <laughs> pause this, come back, seconds. and we'll, we'll, you know, <laughs> or maybe I'll do yeah, I'll do another Spotify playlist <laughs> yeah. of these songs so people that one's hear the, the first one, the guilty pleasures. Oh yeah, and I'll put the uh, love live on there. <laughs> sure, <laughs> it'll be a playlist that no one wants to listen to. But yeah, we put should it make the it. Very we, end. No, no, we should make it. Put it on shuffle. Um, to. I was going to say it's similar to Papa Roach, but I'm like, I guess I'm, I don't, yeah. And I, we've made this joke a couple times, like the biscuit break stuff. You love yeah. dropping that name. So good. Yeah. That riff. It's one of those days you don't want to wake up. <laughs> yeah. I don't, think oh, fucking... ever, I don't think I've ever wanted to like, I'm not oh! going to go out of my way to listen <laughs> Goddamn good. Blim biscuit. <laughs> Rearrange. Check it, check it, check out my melodies. Uh, but okay. Um, kind of like nineties hip hop is so, was so fun and goofy. Yeah. So to get out of the new metal kind of thing. Um like Boys to Men, Motown Philly. Oh yeah. That's a fun song. It's a fun it's like fun and uh like Bell Biv DeVoe. Poison. 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 <laughs> it's like the shitty ass beat that they do Uh, you like listen to salt and pepper like yeah it's like a lot of those are so so fun (laughs) but you listen to the songs they're not okay Motown Philly is actually pretty good but Belle Bill DeVoe listens to some of the lyrics I'm like these are this is not (laughs) me and the crew used to do I'm like Jesus Christ (laughs) (laughs) oh pass oh my hard pass Um, oh my god I'm Blushing over here. <laughs> Water! <laughs> um, I guess this is more of a band instead of a, a singular song, mm-hmm. but Arcade Fire. I actually do like Arcade Fire. They have a couple of jams. Yeah. But they're, I don't, you know, they have that whole association with like Coachella scene. and Duh. I would yeah. say like Arctic Monkeys. There's a couple of jams on the, uh, out of that band that like, I guess today I just like the, you look good on the dance floor. <laughs> Yeah. It's like a fun song, but I'm like, eh, <laughs> that band, I would like never say like, oh, these monkeys are pretty good. I'm like, no, nah, I'd rather beat no, my own ass no. before I finish that sentence. <laughs> <laughs> no. Like, uh, I'll do a swan dive off Coronado Bridge. <laughs> Our Arcade Fire um, Suburbs was a really good record. Like, I think that whole album's really good. It's just a cool, it's like a concept record. Okay. And I love, I love me some concepts. So it's <laughs> just it's, as long as I can grasp them. Which yeah. I don't. Spoiler. <laughs> I like listening to them. Um, yeah. No. So you know, and and they have a couple. I'm sure they have a lot of really good songs, but uh, the couple that I like, I guess. So maybe I should rephrase that. There's a lot. They have a lot of songs. Yeah. And only a couple of them I like from okay. their other records. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so that's yeah. <laughs> that should have been what <laughs> I said. But um. That's kind of it. All you know, kind of it. Uh, all I have, but you have uh, n- another I can, one. I can fly through some. All right, just crank on through it um, to the other side. <laughs> crank like, on through. I couldn't just like leave that. Um, fits in the tantrums. Uh, the yeah, that's the same kind of Coachella pick, feel. Pick up the, well, I think it was before they started doing the Coachella circuit, but it's like the picking up the pieces of love. Mm-hmm. 
or picking up the pieces record which is yeah it's kind of cool it's like a throat very like 60s sounding music with like a upbeat feel i don't know i like i like that record um jack white he's got one song i like I, this is kind of a guilty pleasure for me but it's the um freedom at 21 okay it's like uh off that blunder bus record which is like uh <clears throat> jack white in the guitar community everybody's just like where's that on their sleeve yeah. why why do you why are you like a guilt- because of that <laughs> Be, uh, because yeah it's so synonymous with like because he's not i don't know I, overrated yeah definitely i would say overrated definitely overrated I overrated know. underrated he's overrated yeah I, I i'm not a huge fan i don't like dislike him i don't whatever but i'm like it's like he's one of those guys that i'm just like Pfft. yeah <laughs> and everybody's like what jack white <laughs> um i'd have to say lonely island <laughs> Uh, I love jamming those songs. They're fun. They're not like good quality songs. Like uh, the jam is uh, sax man, <laughs> sax man <laughs> with the Jack Black. <laughs> yeah, it's the sax man. No, they. <laughs> bitty, 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 bitty. <laughs> you know this game. <laughs> the bag and dueling saxes. Fucking do some. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't know. Like, I was on tour. It was always like we just pop that the, that album on the lonely island one yeah <laughs> like the one with the sax man that was yeah. the, like ah oh, this probably song you listen to it you're like that, that was on <laughs> incredible bad yeah we'd like i remember just like yeah the four of us would listen to it and like like at least four times i think we'd be on like yeah he was <laughs> a sax to, man <laughs> up to canada and back and we'd be like at least four times we'd listen to it and we'd, we wouldn't get sick of it like we'd be like maybe like passed out hung over in the back and then it goes on we're just like Sax man, <laughs> it's dumb. But That's, um, that like, that was the, definitely the jam. I, I guess in the the name of comedy CD, you know, songs, "Fly the Concords mm-hmm. is another one that you know the show's good and the songs are just like even by themselves. You're like they're kind of cheesy and they're kind of fu- they're they're phoned. Uh, I mean, you got to phone in a lot of those just to get the jokes in. Yeah. But they're still really good. <laughs> that's like a show that I never ever watched. Probably because you just couldn't comprehend it. Probably because you're so fucking stupid. Probably because you're just an idiot. <laughs> it's because you're so stupid, dude. And God, <laughs> I bet if I took a hammer and beat the fuck out of you, no difference. <laughs> like I would damage the hammer before. <laughs> that thing Jesus scullier. Christ! Yeah, like you just ha- you're like hammer it on home. Yeah. Oh, um, good one. Yeah, I. I feel like, yeah, that's another show I need to get into. Maybe it's a topic of like <laughs> you shows. You start from the beginning. <laughs> like what's on your, we should do a topic of, I guess people, you know, boring, I guess. <laughs> your two watch lists. What are the like top 10 yeah. shows that you need to watch that have been on your list for years? But that's, that's one of them. Yeah. Probably the Conquerors. Everybody talks about it. And I'm just like in conversation with people, especially musicians. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah dude. <laughs> you just duck out of the conversation <laughs> like Homer, like Homer into, into, the, into the, like, the hedge. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, you ready to go to the bar? Oh, you ready to go? <laughs> what? My mom's calling me. Gotta go. <laughs> Just leave. Uh, uh, I think we, you know, got everything. All you know, all that we could. Oh, I'm out sure of there's that. more songs. All, all that we could have that one. We could just like hammer this on home, like for like another like twenty minutes. But I think we're good. Let's yeah. let's let's cap it off there. We can always come back and revisit this. But uh, let's the next one, quick one, and we'll head out of here. Bang, Mary, Kill. Well, I mean, eh, always my favorites here. But I have a... <laughs> yet a again, doozy. another doozy for you, Kyle. A bass Bang, Mary, Kill. Now, you know, bass players have a lot of options. It's not just precision, uh, jazz bass, freaking buck. There's a lot of really, uh, you know, maybe some kooky ones out there. Yeah. Some... Might not be uh, <laughs> so suited for your playing style, yeah. punk rock and stuff like that. But uh, they don't always fit the archetype. No, <laughs> but I mean, people are pushing you know boundaries with design, yada yeah. yada, whatever. And this is this is one for you. In case you guys don't know, we both play in a punk rock band, and we like writing rock songs, punk songs, whatever. And so the go to has been a Fender jazz bass or a Fender Precision. predominantly. Precision P bass. Hell yeah, I'm a precision guy. And they're great. They fit in any type of song that we kind of want to do. Mm-hmm. I guess a music man would also be cool, or, you know, that's kind of it. Your bread and butter is Fender P, Fender mm-hmm. J. 
But there's a lot of stuff out there that's like a little wacky. Uh, first one. This one has fanned frets. Going for just Dingwall. Okay. Yeah, that company Dingwall. They go fan frets. They go with the like sometimes three or four like humbucker pickups. Jesus. They have the dark glass active electronics preamps in there. They're no joke bases. Yeah. They do like weird stuff with like either graphite necks and whatever. It, it's the, they're buku dollars. They're mm-hmm. like thousands. Thou- they, like could be like four to six thousand dollars. Crazy styles. Mm-hmm. And their designs are pretty crazy looking. So think of fan fret crazy base. You can check out Dingwall's uh, site and kind of see like just get the idea. It could be a four string base. And just get that in your head. Okay, the next one. Uh, local boys. Kiesel. But I'm going for not their traditional jazz bass style. Damn it. <laughs> I'm going for the headless Vader bass. So we all know how much you, <laughs> we like headless ba- headless guitars and basses around here. It's... Uh... Anyway, so there's uh, <laughs> also the uh, Epiphone. Hollow body. Uh, Jack Cassidy bass in gold, the gold top it's one. It's kind of a out of left field this one because yeah, like because I know it's something that we don't like. Two are metal. It's like, <laughs> it's like uh, the mud bucker, which is just a humbucker oh, in the middle God. of it. So it's just going to be kind of shitty, boomy. Um, if, if it, the shit bucker. I guess if it, if it was moved closer to the neck, it'd be <laughs> even more barty and boomy. Mm. But it's not something that would really work. I. It's like a country, yeah, bass. Okay. What's a rebase? <laughs> You're trying to recycle these jokes. <laughs> yeah, I sure did. Um, okay, so that one's a little different than the others. But the thing is, like, you would never really play any of these. So, bang, marry, kill those three bases. All right, so I'm going to have to bang the Kiesel headless Vodder. <laughs> bang that one, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Um, they don't have to marry the ding wall. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> really? Yeah, I think fan frets, the active electronics, mm-hmm, the mm-hmm. crazy like three humbucker weird pickups in there. Yeah, I'd get them. They kind of look just like Pringles cans shoved on the guitar, but they're <laughs> black. <laughs> I would probably just. I think the preamp sells it. The, okay, dark glass. So you're yeah. like, okay, if dark glass is in there. Yeah. I'll, I mean, I'll make it work. It'll probably play really well and be really cool, but you just be like, what the fuck? I want I'm, it. Do I have slung on my shoulder? Both those guitars. I want them all black. I want them triple black on these things. They murdered out. Yeah. Just so I don't want, I don't want anyone knowing what I'm playing. <laughs> That's the main thing. And then reason. you're going to wear black. Yeah. Uh, I'll look like a stage hand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then obviously, uh, Kill the uh, Jack Cassidy because like no one's got time for that shit. All right, <laughs> I I mean, I would the probably... the body. It's like when you say hollow body, it it looks like it's w- like wider than like the Gretsch bodies. W- wider it's than oh, because it's so also a bass, so it's like wide. bigger than an acoustic bass kind like, of look. Put, I mean, I've... put the peg on it so you can just play it like a stand up. Also, it's Epiphone, so that's a you're like <laughs> yeah. Your eyes lit up. You're like, oh, God, double kill. <laughs> <laughs> Triple kill. Triple kill. 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 Um, I would go, I would bang the Epiphone. Because I think oh. uh, that would be a different style base that I would want to just hang on your wall. Kind of, yeah. On one of these guitar hangers. That'd be kind of cool. But also, like, I don't know, if you play... Finger style would be kind of cool. I'm guessing that's the cheapest one too, right? And it's also like yeah, five six hundred dollars oh, used fuck. on. But um, I would probably kill the Kiesel. I hate you know. I'm like I like Kiesel because they're locals at Escondido, yeah. but I'm like it just looks like. <laughs> looks yeah, like, it's not. It's not for me. It's not for me. It looks like shit. I just do a fender cutout and just put it. I just stick it on the headstock. I, it looks like it looks like a paddle. It looks yeah. like an oar. You know, yeah. just like no, then, I, I got you. And it, you know, I was, it just does not look cool. I get that what they're trying to do is like more edgy and stuff like that. But I'm like the headless stuff. I am growing 
Yeah, but see, you know, the, the Strandbergs are growing on me, and I like the like the look, and I think they're cool. But I'm like, they, they have like a design that like is modern and looks sleek. This looks like it's just kind of like an amoeba with a head, you know, mm-hmm. a, a neck without, that, without the head. Stuff. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's just like the body is just like. But see, I was thinking more about the tone that you can get from these things. Okay, they're more versatile than that piece of shit Epiphone. Yeah, but I'm like, you can get. I don't know. I would. I would no, assume you that can't. There's, Brian, you, you can cannot get, you can, unmud the mud bucket. You can get a sound out of that that you can't One. get out of others. Well, you can get <laughs> other, but I would mar- roll that tone knob off. Jeez. Yeah, I would marry the Dingwall. Okay, because right. I'm like I think that is the most versatile one with yeah. all those pickups with the preamp, and um, I played uh, guitars that are fan fret, and I don't notice a huge. Uh, it's not a learning curve really yeah just and also these are just grabbing them at nam and at different guitar shops but i'm like i'm not a huge like learning curve of like fan frets whoa it's gonna blow your mind but what do those ding walls run for what's the price very expensive six five six thousand dollars oh thousand i think it's a hundred no i'm um, just kidding <laughs> what uh damn our uh, friend uh brian wilder mm-hmm. from hardly human and he's and a couple other bands he's uh ordered one and his spec is actually pretty cool looking. Where are those made? <clears throat> his is a little bit more traditional kind of look, but it has a lot of modern features and stuff like that. I do not know. I could have done research Probably to Germany. find out. Possibly. But his has like all the fucking, you know, crazy pickups and the preamps, and fucking all Jeez. bells and whistles. And he's like, he's like, oh, you know, I'm on the, I'm, they're building it now. It's like taking a while. The build list is extensive because they're very, they're very, good bases and they're mm-hmm. very cool and like, high in demand um so like i said his is more the traditional kind of look and some of the like aesthetics of tradi- traditional but i was i in my mind i was thinking more of the modern just like in your fucking face pointy uh, like fan frets and all this crazy stuff kind of base and i would yeah. still go for that i would marry that because i think just the sound you would get and all the like crazy stuff would be kind of cool that could be like your one and only base yeah. You play at a gig and people were like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> yeah. Well, we, I guess we did reach an agreement on that one. We both marry it. Yeah. I, on that disappointment. <laughs> Let's get out of here. <laughs> all right. So thank you all for tuning into the Tone Jerks podcast. Thank you so much. Um, but before we go, I wanted to mention a couple of things. If you guys like the show, you guys can uh, follow along on social medias on Facebook. We have a Facebook group. Search the Tone Jerks and you will find it. And on Instagram, at The Tone Jerks. And if you guys, uh, you know, like the show, you guys can help support it on Patreon for as little as $1 a month. But if you guys double down for 2 bucks a month. 2 bucks. Yeah. 2 bucks, dude. Two bucks, uh, <laughs> you guys get an extra episode every week. Just for supporting the show, I wanted to give you guys a huge shout out. Kyle, you got that list. Give it to me. All right. Yeah, so we have uh, Brett Alexander. Stephen Conradi, Doug King, Andrew Walsh, Michael Newman, Adam Rohr from the Let Him Hear podcast, Bruce Banana, Colin Smith, Doug Gann, Aaron Taylor, Jason Fuzzmonger, Abe Newman, Jim Bowers, Doug Christ, Joseph from Like My Pedals, and Will Lehu from the Just Surprise Me podcast, Johnny Ray, Jamie Davis, Sean Fahey, Steve Mike, Digger from Fatfoot Effects, Alvaro Viramontes, Brian from Nutter Guitars, Nicholas Payson, Sean Arbo from Gun Street Wiring Shop, Co Schneider from the Flip and Flippers Podcast, Kevin Equits from Equits Guitars, Leon from Pelican Noiseworks, Nicholas Ogburn, and Matt Quine from the Fret Talk Podcast. Oh yeah, I think we're gonna get out of here. I think uh, we're gonna put some of these wrist grips to the to the test here yeah. Kyle and I maybe we'll do one hand for I'll, each of us I'll face the wall <laughs> and you you face that w- out the window do a, a Dutch wrist grip action <laughs> I don't even think they're made in Denmark <laughs>